Hey, I'm Mandy from Deep Blizzard. In this episode, we'll demonstrate how to train the fine-tuned VGG16 model that we built last time on our own data set of cats and dogs. All right, so we're jumping straight into the code to train our model, but of course, be sure that you already have the code in place from last time, as we will be building on the code that we have already run previously. So we are using our model here to first compile it to get it ready for training. This model is the sequential model that we built last time that is our fine-tuned VGG16 model containing all the same layers with frozen weights except for our last layer, which we have modified to output only two possible outputs. So we are compiling this model using the Atom Optimizer as we have previously used with a learning rate of 0.0001 and a, the loss we are using, again, categorical cross entropy, just like we have before, and we are using the accuracy as our only metric to judge model performance. So there is nothing new here with this call to compile. It is pretty much exactly the same as what we have seen for our previous models. Now we are going to train the model using model.fit, and we are passing in our training data set, which we have stored in train batches. We are passing in our validation set, which we have stored as valid batches. And we are only going to run this model for five epochs. And we are setting the verbosity level to two so that we can see the most comprehensive output from the model during training. So let's see what happens. All right, so training has just finished and we have some pretty outstanding results. So just after five epochs on our training data and validation data, we have an accuracy on our training data of 99% and validation accuracy right on par at 98%. So that's just after five epochs. And if we look at the first epoch even, our first epoch give, gives us a training accuracy of 85%, just starting out and a validation accuracy of 93%. So this isn't totally surprising because remember earlier in the course we discussed how VGG16 had already been uh, trained on images of cats and dogs from the ImageNet library. So it had already learned those features. Now the slight training that we're doing on the output layer is just to train VGG16 to output only cat or dog classes. And so it's really not surprising that it's doing such a good job right off the bat in its first epoch and even a, uh, and even considerably better in its fifth epoch at 99% training accuracy. Now recall the previous CNN that we built from scratch ourselves, the really simple convolutional neural network. That model actually did really well on the training data, reaching 100% accuracy after a small amount of epochs as well. Uh, where we saw it lagging, though, was with the validation accuracy. So it had a validation accuracy of around 70%. Here we see that we are at 98%. So the main recognizable difference between our very simple CNN and this VGG16 fine-tuned model is how well this model generalizes to our cat and dog data in the validation set, whereas the model we built from scratch did not generalize so well on data that was not included in the training set. In the next episode, we're going to use this VGG16 model for inference to predict on the cat and dog images in our test set. And given the accuracy that we are seeing on the validation set here, we should expect to see some really good results on our test set as well. By the way, we are currently in Vietnam filming this episode. If you didn't know, we also have a vlog channel where we document our travels and share a little bit more about ourselves. So check that out at Deep Blizzard Vlog on YouTube. Also, be sure to check out the corresponding blog for this episode, along with other resources available on deeplizzard.com. And check out the Deep Blizzard Hive Mind, where you can gain exclusive access to perks and rewards. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence. I'll see you next time.